Hello everybody, I'm playing solo mode. Today it is me, Tyzok, versus the Titan, the Thief, and the Wolf. And so in order to win, I just need to do the same thing in uh, every other game to win. Three offerings down at the three shrines, and the cave shrine in my possession, I win the game. I lose the game if I die once. So higher stakes, a little bit more uh, thought process and uh, a lot of bit, uh, a lot of opportunity for failure and learning from it. So to start the game, you uh, it just like in hardcore mode, you get six points to start your turn. Uh, but I will start with three of each resource, and I can move uh, up to six. I have six points, so I can start by harvesting. Uh, I feel pretty confident with the amount of cards I have, so I'm just going to move. Six right away. All right. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Some water. And six. Oh, yes. Gotta love that. The garden. Yeah, I'm for sure going to throw down. Now the, the other rule that still applies is by the end of your turn you still need to be um, at nine cards maximum. So if I wanted to harvest, if I want to stop here and not pay anything and then harvest at the beginning I'd be fine but I'm still going to put down a uh, farmhouse and a villager right where I am. I kind of like uh, throwing this here on this corner with this water and throw a villager out here. So now I'm down to six cards and I'm going to keep exploring. So start of my next turn. I get to harvest anything I want and I'm going to harvest two uh, food. Now for this point, for this uh, hardcore mode, I like to kind of keep track by so I harvested two and then I'm down to four. And then I like to put my, my marker there to know where I started from. Uh, I'll go one here. Two. Three. Okay, a little bit of a bottleneck there. Four. And some more water. Okay, so I'm over here. That's all my movement that turn. Um, I'm gonna, now the other, the other part of this I forgot to mention is in solo mode, um, you get the six villagers that you would have gotten in team play um, to work with and you're gonna need it. Uh, I'm gonna throw down three more villagers uh, at the end of this turn. There, so I got four guys, and that is the end of turn number two. All right, so I'm going to harvest a couple more food, or at least let's do one food and three gold. Let's do that, and then I'm down to two more points this turn. So I harvested four, and I will move one. So what I know um, about this is at some point the first shrine is going to pop up. And in this game, the first shrine that pops up, the wolf goes right onto that shrine is, and, he's, and he's guarding it. And I can't put down my offering on that shrine until the wolf is off of it. So in preparation for that, I'm going to make a couple more guys and I'm going to put out everybody. So two more villagers. And I'm going to, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six. So I've got seven cards now. That's the end of that turn. I'm not going to harvest this turn, and I'm going to move six. Okay. And I kind of want to stay somewhat close to, to here, so I'm going to try to wrap around, hopefully not pumping any more water. 
and we'll see what happens. Um, one, there it is, right away. So the wolf, the wolf will roll at the beginning before my next turn. So that was one. I'm done with five more movement. Uh, so in this game, you don't really put the polyresin shrines on, and you'll see why later. Uh, but these guardians here, um, they sit right on there, and while they're on there, I can't put it down. Um, and he'll move, at the beginning of my next turn, I'll roll uh, a battle dice, and he'll either move zero, one, or two spaces toward the nearest flesh. Um, and that is what the wolf does. So there's a little bit more strategy as you play through it the first time, you'll kind of figure out the how to how to pull him out, how to pull pull him away if you kill him in battle he goes right back to here so none of the the um, wolf thief or titan when you kill them they go right back to their um, to any of the shrine that you choose uh, right now it's the only one so if I kill him and put him back he won't be I won't be able to put it down so I kind of want to draw him out kind of pull him out if you will toy with him and then and then uh, go in and put it down so that was one movement. Um, I'm a, I'm interested to see at any point it just it, it, it snowballs and you've got the wolf, the titan, the thief all out there chasing after you and you need to power up so I kind of want to toy with this guy a little bit um, I'm going to discover one and hope it's not a shrine alright so that was one two and I'm going to go three Four. I'm gonna stay here. So uh, he goes for the nearest flush. So that's my the end of my turn. So this is what happens. The wolf rolls. He's gonna move one. Uh, right now, uh, uh, Tizak is one, two, three away, and these two villagers are one, two, three away as well. So because they're equidistant, I get to choose which direction he goes. Either way, he only moves one, and he goes here, right? All right, so that's his movement. If if he goes on, then you know you have the ability to like. If for instance, he wanted to move to here, I could have paid gold to to uh, help in the battle, and then you know if I if I beat him, he'd go back here. But we're here right now. He's moved one there. Um, I've got a few points, so I am hoping that I can kind of move around him, discover uh, a tile here that isn't water or another shrine, and get one down. I'm going to harvest so that I can do that. So I'm going to harvest two food. And then I'm down to four points. I used two of my six. And I'm going to move one, two, three. All right, this is gold. So I'm able to get there. Three. I'm going to pay. So that was one, two, three. I'm down to one more movement. I'm going to pay two of each here my first one down. I feel a little bit of relief there. Um, the wolf is a, the wolf is a strength one to start and you'll see they grow in power as well. Uh, once the thief's ability um, he, they want to put down offerings as well and as each one is put down the wolf, thief, and titan go up in strength. So the wolf starts at a strength one. The thieves start actually at a Plus four because they come out as a three and you pull them down right where they are discovered. So I have one more movement. I'm a little frightened, uh, to say the least. So to find another <laughs> shrine. So I'm hoping it's not. But I'll go one more over here to be away from the wolf a little bit. Okay. So right now that's the end of my turn. Um, I'm not going to do anything else. The wolf rolls. He moves one. So again, Tizak is two away. These two are two away. He's equidistant. I get to choose which direction he goes in. Um, I kind of want to keep him away from me personally. So I'm going to pull him this way. And again, if there's a battle that happens, I get to pay gold to move my villagers to help. Okay, so that's the wolf's turn. Then it's my turn. I start with six points. I'm going to, oh boy, I think I'm going to harvest, uh, let's do one, two, three, four. I'm just going to keep some gold in my pocket in case of emergency. I'm going to harvest two gold, three gold, and move three. And the, 
the cave. I'm excited to find the cave. Um, this is a random cave as usual. And sometimes the Titan appears, sometimes the thief still appears, and sometimes the wolf still appears. And those guys um, can move to those locations if that appears before they're out on the map, which can be scary and intimidating. And then they still chase after you. So it's great. A lot of fun. Not scary at all. Anyone will probably lose their first game. We, we made these rules, and I lost my first three games. It felt pretty good once we settled those rules. There's a lot of luck. Uh, that is removed because of these rules and a lot more strategy um, to win the game, which I absolutely love. So I'm done with three more movement. I'm going to go this way. One, two, try to keep that map open. Three. I'm expecting another shrine to pop up. And the thief is going to aim straight for my offering and take it away. It is so deflating when he does that, but then you put it up again. He, anyway, we'll get to that point. So that's the end of my turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. In my hand, the wolf goes. The wolf moves two. He goes for the nearest flush. This is one away. One. I'm going to pay a goal to move, because he's only strength one right now. Um, I'm just going to pay a gold to move these three guys over. So it's a five on one battle. Uh, the wolf entered the battle. He rolled first. He did not roll well. Hopefully I should be able to beat a zero. And the wolf's gone. So when the wolf dies, he goes back to here. Uh, if, it, if there were multiple shrines out, I could, I could choose where to put them. Um, so, but this is the only choice. So he goes there. Uh, this stays here, um, and so I'm okay with having these guys on here. I'm still farming, and that's the wolf's turn. So I have six points to start my turn. I am expecting a little bit more water and a little bit more, uh, no, and probably another shrine if I travel six. I'm going to harvest try to get that gold back. I'm going to harvest two gold and move four. So two points off of the six, down to four more points, which I'll use for my movement. One. There's a water right there. I want to stay. Yeah, okay. Uh, two. Three. There's the cave. I'm not going to go in just yet for four. Okay, so I'm on the cave. Um, that's the end of my turn. Three, four, five, six. Yep, still down below ten cards. The wolf rolls. He does not move this time. He rolled zero, and now it's my turn. So I could try to bring in these villagers into the cave and then have some strength and numbers because I'm a two right now I could bring these guys in I'd be a seven feeling pretty confident but the wolf is always going to go to the closest guy so, so the thing about it is if I want to keep gardening or if I want to keep farming the garden I want to keep a strength up here so that the wolf when he comes in won't just be able to take out my single villager so that's some some of the thought that I'm considering right now is going right in and hoping for some great treasures that'll boost uh, boost me up a bit. But I'm also outweighing the options of the Titan being in there or the Thieves. There are some highs and lows for going in, and I'm a little bit less about risk and uh, more about strategy. So I'm going to keep moving across the map, and hopefully these Thieves will come up and I can take them on. All right, so I'm going to harvest one gold this time and move five. Uh, let's go around this way. One. Oh, more water. It's funny how the island will totally change your direction. Two. Oh my goodness. The water is appearing and I'm kind of trapped in this area. Uh, three. Four. So I've just discovered the second shrine. 
the thieves pop up right here. Uh, I have one more movement because they don't do anything when you discover it right away. Uh, I'm <laughs> gonna go my last movement away. So I discovered three water uh, and a shrine. Okay, so I'm there. There's not a whole lot I can do right now. I've got eight gold in my hand, so I'll be able to move my army to there right now. Um, so the thief. Okay, let's let's just roll. That's the end of my turn. The thief use the thief die here. So one, the wolf goes. Wolf goes first. He moves one. All right, he's gonna go to the closest flesh one, which is three away here. So he steps out one here. Okay, then you roll for the thief. Now I rolled the five two, and in this instance, you're going to. Um, take the lower of the two numbers for his movement. So he's coming in um, one. Oh, sorry. So his goal right now, he doesn't necessarily attack flesh, but he takes his shortest path to go find this offering um, that I put down earlier because he wants to take it off. And once he gets to this, he takes it off and he puts the gold down, giving him a plus one strength and, um, and also giving the wolf a plus one strength. Um, and I totally forgot last time to do this, but once that thief pops up here, you give him a bonus right away. So he is a strength four right off the bat. Once he pops up, he's on there with his first offering. So his goal right now, and he moves the shortest possible way to here, um, and he's got two movements. So knowing that it's one, two, three, four, five, six away, if you want one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six, I can make him go around me right now um, because I'm, I get to choose his route if it's the same distance. So as one, I kind of want him to not attack me, and then I can kind of go around um, and avoid conflict at this point in time because I could bring this in, I would send him right back, um, which might not be beneficial at this point. And once he takes this down, I lose that strength and they gain a strength. So it's a pretty huge swing. So because his goal, and he goes on to these, they go, they go right on to him. He's one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I'm gonna have him go around. He moved it too. Boom, boom. All right. So that's, so that's my turn. Uh, I've survived that, uh, the, the island's turn. And I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to come in and put this put this one down right now. So I can at, of six points. I'm gonna use five of them to harvest um, two wood, uh, two food, and a gold. Now I'm down to one movement. All right, and then I go there, throw this, throw this down. And my other stack, two, 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 and I've got this one down. All right, so that's my turn. Now again, we're gonna roll the wolf first. You keep in order: wolf, thieves, titan, because uh, then at that point they don't they don't add their powers together. If, if for instance. The, the thief and the, the wolf were in combat at the same time. You go one at a time so that you're not up against a crazy number, which is uh, impossible to be, we found out. The wolf goes first. He doesn't move. The thief goes second. Uh, he rolls a six one, which means he moves one. Now, uh, based on these rules here, so he's got this one down, and his, his, his goal is to put them, um, basically putting the empty, finding the empty one that he doesn't have yet, and replacing it. So right now, this one's locked in for me. He's not gonna go back to this and take this one down because he already has this one up. So his goal uh, is to take it off and then put his on. If his is already on, he's not gonna go after it. And if he's and if there's no other um, shrines to find or, or uh, offerings to take off and replace, that, and then at that point, he goes for flesh. So his first goal is to go here. He's got one movement. Uh, it is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna have him move one here. Once he gets that, he takes off, he puts his down, 
and then he's going to come after me. Um, so that's the island's turn. The wolf moved, the thief moved, um, and I'm up to three strength right now. I feel pretty, pretty okay about that. Um, I could... I could bring my... I'm afraid to discover <laughs> the the next shrine. So because then the Titan comes out as a strength six, uh, seven with this extra bonus. And if the the thief gets this one down, he'll come out as an eight. So and he's just gonna go after the next flush. I'm gonna bring in a few of my guys and try to go into the cave. So, let's see here. The wolf now is a strength two. The thieves are coming in. I want to keep a strength over here um, enough that I can keep gardening. And as a current strength, two, uh, three. I could bring in three guys and be okay with that. Or I could also wait for this thief to go replace this and then go after... Um, and replace that again. Sometimes, basically how this works is you might have to put down two offerings for the same shrine in order to retain that power again. Because you put one down, the thief's gonna wanna replace it. At that point then, he comes after you for attacking, you keep having to fend him off. It gets crazy. So what I'm hoping to do is go into the cave, discover something strong in my favor and uh, not like a titan or something. And so I've got to start my turn, full six points. I've got seven gold in my hand, and I could move them one, two, three, four, five, and discover two. Uh, I want to pay one gold to move this over, one guy over, maybe two guys over. So I'm going to harvest three gold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. I'm going to harvest three gold. You can go over ten cards. If by the end of your turn you're over 9 and you're at 10, then you have to get rid of whatever you have access to and discard to the island. You can be over during your hand, but uh, by the end you have to be at least to 9 maximum. So I harvested 3. I'm down to 3. I used 3 of my points. I'm going to use um, 3 movement to go into the cave. 1. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Two. I'll set up here on the other side here. Two. Two. Let's see. Oh, one, two, three. Okay. Nothing on the first tile. That's okay. I'm okay with that. And I'm going to pay... I'm gonna pay. I'm just gonna pay gold right now and just move all these guys over. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'm down to nine gold. All right, that's gonna be my turn. Wolf rolls. Does not move again. He's a lazy wolf. The thieves move one. Um, doesn't really matter. I'll send them this way because it's one, two, three, or one, two, three. I'll just have them go over here. For one movement, and then it's back to me again. I'm gonna. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once the thief gets this down, the wolf is gonna be up to a strength three. So I kind of want to leave four guys over here, or at least enough where I can escape conflict and pay a gold to leave battle. Because uh, I think the wolf's just gonna keep. If I keep putting him here that he's going to keep attacking my villagers if I put him over here if I kill him then he might come in after me which I'm not too worried about um, a lower strength wolf I'm going to pay to move three guys in um, and that's that's my goal this turn so I start with six points and let's see how far away are they two four five six seven currently seven away uh, so I'm going to need to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine cards. I'm going to harvest. Uh, let's do two gold this time around. And I'm going to pay to move. 
three guys with me. So I've, I harvested two gold. Right? I should get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, okay. Harvested two gold and down to four movement. I'm just going to pay to move them now. Two, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Six from the cave exit tile. Alright. And I still have five gold, so I feel okay about this. Alright, one movement. Here we go. Please don't be a titan. One. The cursed garden. Oh my goodness, that is not good for my land tile. So on the cursed garden, uh, what you do here is, and I'll just put a battle treasure on it. There's now a garden in the cave that you can harvest from and you can you can farm, um, but all the rest, all, all current and future gardens on the main map wither and die. And so this is pretty much just like a pile of sand at this point, and I can't harvest anything from here. Uh, so I'm <laughs> I'm in the cave. I I don't have the resources to build a garden right now. Um, but I can go back to that, and right now it's just a prototype tile. We don't have the the um, the one with the the one on the Kickstarter, which is so beautifully made. We don't have that uh, printed yet. But so that's one movement. I'll deal with this as I go. <laughs> Two. Let me go over to here, and it is the torch. Oh, I love the torch so much. This was a backer idea from the first Kickstarter, and it is a game changer. And it, it is it is good and bad depending on if you're on that team or against. So. With the torch, I can see. <laughs> I can see what's in the cave. I cannot rearrange the tiles. I see that two tiles away is a titan, and if I go onto that, it will be a strength. Currently, a strength seven, and I'm a strength uh, six if I bring those three guys with me. So, that's exciting. Uh, Behind the Titan, uh, two tiles away, is the Cursed Treasure, which gives negative one speed and negative one strength until I drink from the cup. Uh, so that's third down, fourth down, Resource Treasure, which I get to gather um, every, at the beginning of my turn one of any resource I want. And considering I'm not currently gardening, uh, kind of sets me up for <laughs> a good situation. After that, Speed Treasure, Secret Tunnel, uh, the secret tunnel, pretty much wherever that is in the cave, I get to come out one tile away from the cave entrance on the main map, so I could pop out here, here, here. Um, speed treasure, secret tunnel, the wolf. Uh, the wolf would then be uh, met down in the cave again. The cave in, then the cave. Oh my goodness, there's so many things happening. And then at almost the very bottom is my. Uh, is exactly what we're wanting here, which is the beautiful cave shrine. So that's second to the bottom. So basically, if I can take out this Titan and and uh, banish him to one of the shrines, I can survive. That's two tiles away. I moved uh, two right now. The torch has flipped over. One, two. I have four more, or I have two more movement. Okay, so there's Titan at two, two Cursed Treasure, Resource Treasure. Okay. I'm going to move one more over here to the blank tile and then back over to the Cursed Garden. So I can, I'm can i now farming the Cursed Garden. I have no more movement this turn. Oops. No more movement this turn on the Cursed Garden. I'm so afraid of this Titan right now, you guys. Uh, once I find him... We're attacking, so now I've got this opportunity to prepare. Um, that's going to be my turn. I have a feeling the thief. This is going to be a big turn. Okay. So that's my turn. The thief and wolf's turn. So let's start with the wolf. Wolf rolls a two. He goes after the nearest flesh. That is this way. Um, perfect. And then the thief goes. So the wolf rolled a two, so he goes here, two to the nearest flesh. 
the thief rolled a three, so he's gonna go here. One, two, takes mine off, pulling down my power. He puts one on boosting his power, as well as the wolf. So right now, the wolf is a one, two, three, the thief is a three, four, five. Uh, and when the titan pops in, the, the titan will be a eight, and I personally am back down to a two. I've got three guys with me. Uh, so I've got an opportunity here to basically create um, a bit of a, an army to go in with. So I know that the next one's a Titan. I'm going to play it this way. I got six points here. Uh, the wolf could possibly get to these guys. I've got enough gold to pay it off. Um, I'm going to use... One, I'm gonna use my six six points. I'm still harvesting this garden back here. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a farmhouse right now in the cave, which everyone's been wanting to be able to do, right? So now we've got this garden in the cave. We love this idea. I'm gonna harvest one um, wood. Be down to five points. I'm gonna pay wood and gold to put a farmhouse in the cave. Now, um, these guys, when they go for flesh, they don't really attack farmhouses because farmhouses are separate battles. They're never really attacked. And even if, I think if it's on the way, they don't go out of their way. I think the Titan is the one who swings at a farmhouse if it's just in his way. But he doesn't go after it. He goes after flesh. And if it's if it's in his way, he's going to go after it. Anyway. Uh, so that was one point of harvesting. I get to move five. I'm going to leave and meet these guys out here and try to power this back up again. Oh, and the thief had one more movement. And the closest flesh. One, two, three, four. One, two. So he's going to step back out this way for his third movement. Uh, so yeah, so now, now the thief goes for flesh because he doesn't have anything to replace. And he's a strength five. This is going to be great. I move one, two, oh my goodness. And I pay, I'm going to pay one gold right away to keep a villager back here. I'm going to pay... Um, cause I'm just a two. Pay a gold. So three more movement. Okay, so I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm a little intimidated by this, but I know if, if it's one, two, if it's three away, he's going to go after him. Uh, and if and they're going to go this way, if it's back over here. Uh, and I'm I'm further away. I can kind of toy with them. That's the that's the thing is they go to the nearest flesh. So if it's equidistant, I get to choose. If it's cl if they're closer here, I can kind of pull them along. I know that his max speed is a three, his max speed is a two. So there's a pretty good chance here that this is going to be a battle, and I can have gold to move it. So right now, one two three away, one two three away. I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to use all my speed, and I'm going to hold on to my gold in case I need it. So, that's the end of my turn. The wolf goes. He moves two. So, he's going to go to battle here. Uh, he's a three. This is a three. What I can do is kind of toy with him. And I pay, <laughs> I pay one gold here to go here. And because he's got a movement of two, he moves once. Uh, he moves twice back to follow. I pay a second gold and I escape again. Okay, so I just, and again, I just put this here to show that the garden is not able to be farmed. So these guys survived from uh, dodging the wolf. The thief rolls a two. So these guys are one, two, three away. And they don't battle one another, by the way. The wolf, thief, and titan, they never really battle. They can coexist on the same space. Uh, but the battles occur uh, 
sequentially and not all together. So they have a two, one, two, three away are these guys. One, two, three away is us. I'm actually gonna move them here because I like to, I wanna pull them away so that I can come and get this one back down. Uh, so they're at that point. Okay, back to my turn. I have six points. I don't have any cards. And I kind of want to, boy, in order to get this down, it's going to take me a couple turns. So, one, two, I want to get to here. So I only need three movement. I'm going to gather three gold to start my turn. Put them down. Get three points that I can use for movement because I'm still harvesting with my lonely villager on the cursed garden, which is um, Totex garden and he's gonna move one two three and that'll be my turn now. so now back to the island's turn the wolf goes first wolf moves two <laughs> one and oh my goodness I'm just gonna I'm just gonna run uh, one comes again, so he moved two, I'm going to pay a second gold here, and move this guy over here. Uh, then, the thief goes. The thief moves one, so they're one, two, three away, one, two, three away, or this route, one, two, three away. I'm going to pull him further this way, so I'm going to move him one there. And let's, that's, the, uh, that's their turn, so back to me. I've got six points. I think I'm gonna do six up, six down, harvesting from the Totex garden, and go two, four, six, six up, no movement this time, six points to harvest, six cards, and I'm gonna put it down. So now I'm back up to a strength three, which I'm a little bit more confident about, and it is their turn, and they are closing in. So. Oh, let's go. Uh, wolf first. Wolf moves one. So the wolf moved here. I pay a gold. And I'm going to move these guys here. So I escaped uh, enough. Or no. I had that gold. I had three gold. They started here. One, two. Okay. Uh, that's the wolf's move. To the thief, he moves two. These guys are one, two, three away. One, two, three away this way. I'm just gonna keep these guys together here. And he moves two to that location. When the thief is hungry, it is scarier for me because I'd rather him be occupied, but now he's just coming after. And uh, we'll see what happens. All right, that's their turn. Back to mine. I've got six points. I've got these two down. And I know that the Titan is in the cave. I can either wait for him to pop up in the cave, or I can uh, search more of the island and find that third shrine. If the Titan's already in play, that third shrine, when it pops up, the Titan doesn't guard it. So I kind of want to bring everybody I can and go after him. So I'm, I'm back to a strength three. I could bring four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It could do a 9 on 8 battle. I do get gold to reroll um, in the event of that, just like standard hardcore rules. So I'm going to make my way, bringing my guys with me to try to fend off. So if I go 1, 2, 3 movement, 1, 2, 3 movement. So what I'm going to do is harvest 3 gold and move 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, one, two, three. Gosh, I'm so glad I found, I mean, the garden in this, the curse garden in this instance is actually useful because I can have that villager in the cave with me rather than keeping him stranded out here. Um, I paid for these movement. I'm there. We're going to go for it. That's the end of my turn. The wolf go. Wolf does not move. He's taking a nap.
The thief goes. The thief moves three. Okay, so the thief is a three, four, five. He goes one, two, three. I am a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so he rolls first. He's a three, four, five. He rolls one, two, three, four. I'm going to roll one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I win. I get to send the thief to either uh, shrine, um, and I'm gonna send him back to this one. And they go right on it, rather than in standard play, we would be popping up adjacent to it, but these guys get to walk on it and through it. So if I had, um, if I had some more terrain over here, and he could go right through and cut, rather than go around where I, I can't step on these, but he can go right through them. Anyway. So that's their turn, and I get to start mine at six points. I'm gonna try to uh, beast, beef up for this Titan here. I He is the furthest away at one, two, three movement, and I can pay one, two, three movement, and I'm gonna want to have four gold. One, two, three, three gold. So I'm gonna take, again, three, Gold to start my turn, and then I'm down three points. <sighs> Here we go. Gotta, gotta get to it at some point. One, two, three. The Titan shows up. He is so tall, you guys. Look at this guy. He's so big. Turn your cameras around. We have a strength eight giant. I'm gonna pay one, two, three gold. One, two. I'm gonna bring this guy with in that army movement. Three. So I am a three plus my six villagers makes me nine. I have the advantage, so I'm not even worried. I'm not even worried at all that this mega thing of one beast. Uh, Comes. I'm not scared at all. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Three, six, eight, nine. I'm attacking the Titan. Feels weird. He's so, gosh, turn your cameras around. Look at this. He's so big. Oh my goodness. Right. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So, I can pay to reroll. I have two blank uh, dice right here. I'm gonna pay one gold to reroll one of them. Still zero. That's okay. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Whew. And the Titan goes. I'm just gonna turn that into a two and pull that back. Two, four, six, eight, ten. He rolls eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Gosh, I really hope I win. Oh, the Titan was half asleep. Two, four, six, eight. I defeat the Titan. I'm I'm alive. I get to send him back to either of these two, and I'm gonna send him back way back here. And this is why we don't put the polyresin shrines on, because this titan would not fit at all with these. Alright. That's my turn. Uh, and I'm super excited, because I've got quite a bit of treasure down here. I still have to find that third uh, that third shrine on the uh, in the map, so I'm hoping to come out here strong and be able to fend off these guys for a while, but We'll see what happens. All right. So now the wolf goes. I'll show you how the Titan moves. It's not a big deal. Wolf goes. He doesn't move again. I think he ate too much. 
uh, thief moves two, and basically here's one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna keep on the outside. Thief moves two, boom, boom. They're coming after me, not a big deal. It's fine, I'm not scared. The thief gets one of the, uh, the golden dice, one of the uh, two that you start in standard play to roll. And so he can move uh, between one and six spaces. It's fine. I'm fine. He moves two. It's not a big deal. One, two. Oh my gosh, he's so heavy. Look at him. Goodness gracious. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay. Okay. We're fine. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I have six points to start my turn. I think that here's... How far am I away from this Titan? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. He's probably going to take out that farmhouse as he passes through it. Um, I'm five away currently. I'm going to harvest <laughs> two gold and move four. Yeah. Okay, so if you flip your cameras around again, I'm back into the cave. I can't go here right now because the, re uh, the X is there. I'll move four. One, cursed treasure. Uh, so we've got the, the cursed treasure. That's beautiful. That's amazing. Anyway, and it's it's heavy and big. Uh, so I have negative one speed and negative one strength. So with that four, I was down to three. Now I'm back down to two movement. So now I only get a total of, well, one less speed that I just decide. If I wanted to harvest six and not move, that would be fine. I would still be able to use those points as such. So I have two more movement. I'm down personally to a strength two because I am cursed. Once I find uh, the cave shrine at the second to bottom by my memory, uh, then I lifted up the curse. But along with the curse comes five gold. So that's gonna be super useful right now so it is you know it's a it's a treasure but it's cursed um, in order to remember I like to pull this with me it's a little reminder of the lack of speed and strength I have okay I'm good on gold I'm not worried anymore I was gonna try to move a little bit differently two more move one I'll go this way. one Resource treasure, beautiful, beautiful. So even though I'm not farming, at the beginning of my next turn, I'll be able to take one of whatever I need. This one's great. That rose, beautiful. Uh, man, I really think the coins have added such a beautiful element to this game. Okay, three, four, five. I've got one more movement. One. Speed treasure. Yes. So I'm still down in the strength, but I get that speed back right away from when I find it. There's just that Vieca. Love it. So I'm really just negative one strength that kind of washes out with the, the curse. And I'm going to use that speed on my last movement there. Secret tunnel. Okay. I'm excited about that. Um, because if they come in and they follow me in the cave, I can pop out the other end. Beautiful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm feeling pretty confident at this moment, but anything can really happen. So the island goes. The wolf rolls. He moves finally. One. The thief rolls. They move three, oh my goodness. One, two, three under the cave exit. Okay, please Titan, don't do this to me. Titan rolls a one. Oh, yes. Okay, and I'm just gonna keep discovering and uh, scurry out the back of that secret tunnel when I need to after pulling the Titan in. I'm up to six points. I feel pretty good right now. Hey, Mike. Well, hey. How you doing? Are you playing this game 
Alone? Yeah, it's alone. I'm playing solo play. Alone? Solo play? Just me. But how is that possible? Well, with the Titan, everything's possible. With the Titan, everything is possible. <laughs> I'll leave you alone. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. I'm playing solo play alone. Alone? I don't need friends anymore. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that was Mike. Everyone knows Mike. He's the other developer of the game. Uh, I personally really love solo solo mode. The other day we were both playing solo mode uh, on the table from our, in our own games. It was it was great. All right, I'm gonna move six and I'm not gonna harvest because well, let's see here. One, two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one gold. I'll take one gold and move five. All right, one. The wolf. Now the wolf's in play right now, so he doesn't come up, um, he doesn't pop up in battle per se, but I still have to, um, I took one goal, but I, I get the, that plus one speed, but I'm, I'm still back to zero. Uh, the wolf is still, this wolf is still on, I still have to battle that uh, strength three wolf, um, so I'm going to pay two gold right now move this army in, just so I can take it. Just like in standard, uh, the base game, when you come across the tiger, it's there, it's a strength two. Right now, this is a wolf that was a strength one, but it's beefed up. Uh, so he is a strength three. And I'm, 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 I'm pretty happy. I'm an eight. So I'm just going to do this quick. Yeah. Wolf's dead. Wolf's dead. Okay. All right. I did. So that was one movement of five down to four. I'll go. Uh, I want to stay kind of by that secret tunnel. One, two. Yeah, let's do that. So then I'll go here for two. There's that cave in. So. Um, The cave-in when someone's on the cave exit works as such. They You you basically move them in from the cave-in to either tile. I'm just going to put, put them here. This gets shuffled in to these three. So from what I remember, um, so from what I remember, there's a blank tile and there's the cave shrine and then there's going to be the cave exit. Now, because the cave exit is a two-sided and you'll be able to see it, uh, try to shuffle without cheating, yada, 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 okay. And you'll be able to see the cave exit um, at the top. Now, the current cave in is I can't leave the cave. <laughs> I can't leave the cave. This is really a game changer. <laughs> I can't leave the cave right now until I find it. The Titan, right now, because there's no uh, cave exit, is going to land right on the cave in tile. So that's great. I moved one, two, so three more movement. Um, <laughs> all right, one, the blank tile. Oh my goodness. This is going to be too much. Okay, and I'm a negative one strength until I until I have that cup in my hand. And when I get that cup in my hand, that's like a three point swing right there because I get this um, that one strength back and a plus two. I get two more movement. So what I'm gonna do for this is move one um, over here. And we've got Fly Resin Cave Shrine drink from the golden cup. The curse is lifted, which is great. I have it right now. Boom. Love it. Great. Awesome. Oh, I should pay a gold to move those guys with me. And I've got that in my hands. So I am a three, four, I'm a five. I've got six guys with me. I've got that curse treasure off my back. And I actually get a plus one speed now. So I have two more speed. Okay. So what I can do right now is I could uh, 
I could discover. This is okay. If I if in order to get out of the cave, I gotta find this. It's technically the last tile, so I know it's there. And and when I and I can put it anywhere now. But I've got two more movement, and the Titan is gonna come. If you if he rolls more than a one, he's gonna land on the cave and tile. If this isn't in play just yet, so. I alone am a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 I feel pretty confident about. The Titan right now is a 6, 7, 8. I feel like I can win that battle. I'm actually going to not use my 2 speed. We're going to do as such. So I'm going to hold on to my gold for rerolls or anything like that. And I'm going to let the island go. Wolf goes. Wolf doesn't move. Thieves go. Thieves move two toward me on the speed treasure. Uh, over there. And then the titan rolls. And we're going to see how this plays out. Titan rolls a one. I got lucky. So there is the secret tunnel. I totally forgot about the secret tunnel. Uh, the secret tunnel allows me to get to these three uh, spots, and I don't need the cave exit with the secret tunnel in play. So I can't land on this anyway, so I can move to, you know, uh, like if I move, so let's say, I, well, I'll start with six spots. So I can move one, two onto the secret tunnel, three to come to like here. Um, and then go four and hopefully discover five, six on the other side. So I think I'm going to go with that option. How much gold do I have? One, two, three. And I get that plus one speed. I totally forgot about the plus one speed. So I have a seven speed. One, two. So I'm gonna I'm gonna harvest one gold, and then I have six speed with that bonus. Um, with that resource treasure that I get, I get the the, um, the plus one. Oh, boy, this is there's so much strategy that if you make the wrong move, you can just find yourself cornered into a trap. Uh, I love the opportunities <laughs> that I. I feel like I'm winning with my mind rather than with the dice rolls. Uh, the dice rolls really just move the characters. And you, you see it, sometimes they, they go full speed and they get to you. Sometimes they take you like the wolf has been this game, but the wolf isn't a huge foe at this point. All right, I'm gonna go out the secret tunnel and escape behind the Titan, which is gonna work out pretty well for me. Okay, I'll pay my gold as I need to, but let's do this. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two. One, two, three, four. So I should pay. I'll just pay. Yeah, I'm going to keep those guys there for this moment. Um, and I'll pay two gold. I'm going to move these guys to here. And so that was, let's see here. One, two, three, four. So I'm down to two more movement. And I'll go. Uh, I'm going to move this way to kind of go further from them. Oh boy. Now I feel trapped. Six. So if I pay one, two, three gold, I can bring these guys with me. One, two, three. Boy, I got lucky there's a secret tunnel there. 
That could have been a huge game changer. Okay, that's the end of my turn. I'm three tiles away from a titan, two tiles away from a wolf, and one, two, three, four tiles away from a thief. I know the thief can't reach me, but I'm about to pull up. We'll see what we'll see what happens. I can't garden here the rest of the game. Um, if I if I had left a, a thief down there, the or uh, sorry, a villager down in the cursed garden, I could have been harvesting all the resources I need. <sighs> There's a lot going through my brain. I could have done differently. Okay, wolf first. Wolf doesn't move. Good for him. He's really doing his job. Thief moves one onto the secret tunnel. And the Titan moves six. Excellent. One, two, three. Uh, again, I am a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Three, six. Titan's an eight. Actually, I'll roll for the Titan first. Seven. And again, I still have to find this last shrine. I feel, I feel like this. I feel confident now, but I only have one gold card to re-roll with. Titan rolls a two, four, six, eight. Still above aver uh, average. Roll two, four, six, eight. I'll roll. Eight, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. The rest of the die. Here we go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. Boom. Send it back way over here. And that's island's turn. Back to me. I can harvest gold. I should have left one villager to toy with that thief back there, but that, uh, it's tough. I have to kind of harvest as I go, I think. So I'm going to harvest, man, this, this situation does not make me feel like I can toy with this titan very much. I'm going to harvest three and move three. Actually, I'm, yeah, let's do that. No, I'm going to harvest four. And move two. Uh, sorry, with Bobby Eka, you get that plus one bonus. So harvesting four with two left and a plus one bonus, I get to move three. I felt like that cave was pretty rich in treasure, but it could have been super, super bad. And that, uh, that torch in there really saved my butt because I was about to go. If that wasn't there, I would have hit the Titan full force and died and lost the game probably, because I didn't have my army at all near. So that, that torch might have single-handedly won me the game. Alright, I'm going to move three. One. Okay. Two. Three. Okay. Nothing just yet. but I will be able to harvest gold again. I was kind of hoping for a different resource to end on. Um, I can always flee a battle, so I'm going to leave these guys here right now. Oh, six dudes. Island's turn. What do you got, Wolf? Wolf's going to step up a little bit. Move in here. I'm kind of, I'm kind of trapped. I really hope this isn't a water. Uh, that's a one. Thief moves. Thief moves one to the cave entrance. And the Titan. What's up with the Titan this time around? Moves to. Uh, what's closest what's here? That'd be one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so just two to. I'll just keep them here. They're together. Okay. My turn again. I have six points to start, and it, uh, next move. If I wanted to harvest six, I would get a free movement from Bavieka. Uh, so I'm 
I'm gonna call Forgetting that this garden is gone. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to harvest three more again. Oh, and I plus plus I get that uh, resource treasure. Perfect. I forgot about that last turn, but it's too late. Resource treasure allows me to harvest one of anything. I'm going to harvest a food because I only have gold in my hand. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I'm to nine cards right now, so I should be fine. So that was three. I've got four movement because three points left plus the plus one speed. I'm sitting confidently currently at a five strength with the cave shrine. I, let's do this. One, two. I'm just planning to string them along, but I could be stranding myself. They can't reach me this turn. I'm on food, that's good. Um, all right, let's go. Wolf goes first, wolf steps in. I'm gonna pay a gold to flee, flee this battle. Well, it's not a food, it's a gold. Let's flee this current. And then the thief goes, moves three. One, two, three. So I'm kind of like dangling out these these villagers uh, for the the guardians to go after, um, and then the titan rolls. <sighs> One. Every time I roll that dice, I get so scared. Okay. All right, that's their turn. I'm going to harvest. Two food. And move five. One. Two. Three. There it is. So I'm here. I still have two more movement. Um, right now the Titan's already in play, so he doesn't pop up on that third turn, and that's kind of been my entire strategy. Seeing from the torch that he wasn't there has changed my total strategy. So what I could do um, is... is Two more movement. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, oh, there's eight. There's eight water in play. So there's one more water tile out there. I'm gonna hope to get my two more movement. I'm gonna step back here and end my turn. Here. I'm just going to pay two gold to move these guys to this spot. That's a, that'll be my turn. All right. Basically, the Titan from this point is because I chose to leave this blank. The Titan is two, four, six away from me, and I feel like pretty confident he's gonna go here. So unless he rolls a six, I should be able to win this game. Oh, I did not feel, man, that the torch saved me. The torch totally saved me. I, I would have lost this game without the torch. Okay, wolf rolls. Wolf rolls, moves two. Thieves, thief rolls. Thief rolls, moves one. And the six-sided die, the golden die. Boom. 
2, 4, 5, 5 pay of gold to play this battle. Alright guys, that's the island's turn. I'm sitting here with three, to start my turn already before harvesting, three food, four gold. So I'm going to start my turn by harvest, uh, taking a free resource of wood. I'm already on wood, so I get to harvest that turn. I will move, use that as one point. Go over here. Lay down my third offering, and I win the game. All right, guys, this has been the solo play test. I survived because of the torch. Otherwise, I would have gotten murdered really fast. All right, we'll see you later.